The recently launched RTX 4060 is an underwhelming car just like its bigger brother the 4060 Ti. It sits somewhere between the RTX 3060 and 3060 Ti and Nvidia is marketing it as one of their most efficient cars with lots of AI sugar coating on top. But let's be honest, most gamers don't consider the electricity bill as a deciding factor while purchasing a GPU now do they? While the RTX 4060 does have some limitations, it's indeed an efficient card. And the DLSS 3.0 along with the frame gen does make a difference in certain scenarios, so if you were to consider this as your next GPU, would it be worth it? Let's find out. But before that, let's hear a word from a today's sponsor, Ten Studio. Looking for an animation studio that can turn your story or idea into animated visuals? Look no further than Ten Studio. Our team of experts creates animated explainer videos that simplify complex ideas and bring your message to life. Our experience can help you tell your story in a way that engages your target audience and makes them remember it. Don't miss out on this opportunity to stand out from your competition. Visit our website to know more at www.10.studio. Unlike the 4060 Ti, Nvidia has not released a final edition card for the RTX 4060, so you're left with a handful of aftermarket variants. To name a few, Asus, MSI, and Gigabyte have come with their own variant for the card and most of them have a dual fan design. The only exception is the Zotac Gaming Solo as it has a single fan design with a small form factor. If you have a mini ITX build in mind, this can be your best bet. With that being said, let's take a quick look at the spec difference. As you can see, the RTX 4060 has higher CUDA cores than the 3060, but is significantly lower than the 3060 Ti. We also want to point out that the 4060 has fewer RT cores than both 3060 and 3060 Ti, which might take a dip in ray tracing performance. We'll be talking more about that up close in the benchmark portion. Unlike the 12GB 3060, the 4060 comes with 8GB of VRAM which some might find to be limiting as games are getting more demanding nowadays. Lastly, the 4060 has a 128-bit memory interface, whereas the 3060 Ti has 256-bit and the 3060 has 192-bit. What a letdown. Enough about the specs, let's see some number crunches. As for the raw performance, without any AI wizardry, RTX 4060 pulls off about 54 FPS in A Plague Tale Requiem, whereas the 3060 Ti can do 59 and 3060 42 according to the PC Enthusiast benchmark. While this is the most common benchmark result in most games, the scenario completely changes in Forza Horizon 5, where 4060 outperforms both the 3060 and 3060 Ti with a whopping 108 FPS. Perhaps in some cases, the RTX 4060 might not be that bad after all. Now, let's see some performance results with added AI Razzle Dazzle. Just to be clear, we're talking about DLSS 3.0 and frame generation which is exclusive to the RTX 40 series cards. Referring back to the PC enthusiast benchmarks, both the RTX 4060 and 3060 Ti extracted about 61 FPS at Ultra preset with RT Psycho in Cyberpunk 2077 whereas the 3060 is way below at 49. However, with frame generation turned on, RTX 4060 tops the chart with 93 FPS, which honestly is pretty impressive. But it only holds true for single player titles as it's not advised to use frame generation in multiplayer games. As it turns out, the added AI Razzle Dazzle does have some sweet spot and that is 4K gaming. You heard that right, with DLSS 3.0 and frame gen, the RTX 4060 can pull off above 60 FPS in games such as Resident Evil 2 and Death Stranding which was never seen before from a GPU in this price range. We gotta give credit where credit is due and the 4060 does deserve one. Power consumption is where the RTX 4060 shines the brightest or should we say the dimmest. That was a pun, yes, and the 4060 does have amazing efficiency. According to Notebook Check, it's 66.6% .6 more efficient than the 3060 12GB and about 31.6% more than the RX 7600 from AMD. As mentioned earlier, very few gamers put electricity bills as a deciding factor and if you're someone who does care, then the 4060 will be just fine. In the end, it all comes down to the price. With an MSRP of $300, RTX 4060 is still an underwhelming card that fails to replace the 3060 with 4GB of less VRAM. While it does perform slightly faster than its predecessor, you'll find plenty of outstanding alternatives such as the RX 7600 and RX 6650 that seamlessly outperform the RTX 4060. The AI sugar coating might look impressive on the surface, but raw performance is where it takes a hit. 
So that was all about the RTX 4060 vs 3060 debate. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.